For a number of years, pastors throughout Johnson County gather together once a month to have lunch. We encourage each other and share what God is doing in our ministries. At one of these lunches, I was sharing with the pastors about God's goodness to our church. When all of a sudden I had the thought, God has given us so much. He's been so faithful to us over the decades here at Cross Points. He's entrusted us with beautiful facilities, land, and a million dollar budget. And then I had another thought, I'm gonna stand before God and give an account of all that he's given to us. I wanna be faithful with the resources he's given us. We need to do more with what we've been given. It was at that moment that God began to speak to me about church planting. I saw in my mind churches planting churches. Over the next few months, I had our staff do some research about churches in Johnson County. Did the city really need new churches? Weren't there enough churches in Kansas City? Our research astounded me. In Johnson County, there are only 350 churches. Now, that might seem like a lot of churches, but in comparison to the rest of the United States, Johnson County only has half of the amount of churches as other parts of the country. And then we found something else that really staggered me. Six out of 10 people in Johnson County are completely and totally unreached with the good news of Jesus Christ. Kansas City needs new churches. Even though the stats were clear, not everybody on church was on board. Because what would that mean for cross points? It would cost us a lot of money and we'd give away a lot of people. That meant we'd need more volunteers and everyone would have to work together. It would mean that the church would be more than just coming together to spectate. We need a church that would come together to participate in the mission of the church. We need people to give generously, and serve selflessly, and pray like never before. But we'd also need someone to plant the church. I met David on a run in New England, a long way from Kansas City. It grew into a friendship, chatting about life and faith and ministry, as we spent those couple of years together as neighbors and classmates. As is often the case, I didn't realize those early conversations were the small beginnings of a bigger story, a journey towards church planting, towards Park City Church. A lot happened in the years between those New England runs in Park City. I found myself in churches that were at various stages of the church planting journey. During seminary in New England, we attended a young church, a church plant that was still in its early days and its small beginnings. Then we moved back home and were a part of our home church, launching a new church congregation. But most formative for us, we spent a year abroad in Scotland and found ourselves in a life-giving city center church that emphasized God's grace, that was just beginning to cast the vision for planting new congregations, a church connected to other churches, planting new congregations, breathing life into old ones, a church full of grace and part of a story that was larger than itself with the vision for planting new communities, for fostering other new, sometimes small beginnings. I began to ask myself, what would it be like to form that kind of community? And that took me back to those small beginnings of running with David in the New England countryside. Those conversations came full circle, a path I never anticipated in the moment, a path that brought me here to Kansas City, to Cross Points, to Park City, and to Bridgeway Church. The end of 2014 had brought on a big change in my family's life, and we weren't sure what the next step was. After months of praying and seeking, God revealed to us that He wanted us to begin a church. We didn't know what that looked like. We didn't know how it would come about. We just knew that we were going to be obedient to God and see what happened. February of 2015, we found ourselves at Cross Points Church. The second week we were here, Pastor David mentioned for the very first time that God had been leading him to begin planting churches in the Kansas City area. My wife and I couldn't believe it. What Pastor David spoke was exactly what God was showing us. I met with Pastor David a month later to share what was on our hearts and what God was leading my wife and me to do. It all lined up. So the journey began, preparing to launch and begin a church in the Kansas City area. We have always had a passion to see people grow in their relationship with God. For us, something that has also been on our hearts for a few years is to reach those that have wandered away from God. We know God wants them back. Better yet, we know that they need Him. We know one of the best ways to do that, to reach people with the gospel, honestly, 
is to plant churches. See, when God does something, He doesn't just do it small. It may begin small, but God does like big. And that's been the story of the church since the beginning. Reaching people by planting new churches that make a bigger impact together than they would alone.